Shut up and sit down. Hey, YouTube, what is going on? What is happening? What is real? Welcome back to another edition of Grill and Thrill. I am Rob. I am your fucking host. And uh, wow, as you guys know, I've been staying away from some doing my cooking videos for a little bit. Not because I don't cook anymore, but because I'm just trying to find some other stuff to do for the channel. Last night at a party for my neighbor's daughter, who's going away to West Virginia uh, College. Uh, best of luck to you, Michaela. We, we love you and we wish you the best. Uh, we found a little bit of talent. Her brother Cole uh, has taken up spray paint art. He's done really good, and uh, so we decided to do an impromptu video. I had already cracked way too many, so I apologize for that part. Um, other than that, you got to check this kid out. He did really well, and wow, just check this out, guys. Three, two, one. All right. Hey grillers, hey thrillers, what's going on? What's happening? What is grilling? We are here with Cole Schmouter. He's going to show us some uh, spray paint art, right? Yeah. What are you going to do for us today? Uh, just a, I guess a big boom. A big boom. That's what I call it. Awesome. Check this out. So, a lot of questions we get as uh, spray painters, I guess, is what kind of paper? And any generic poster board works just fine. Just make sure you're using the glossy side while you're painting, so the smooth and shiny side. Um, if you don't know if you want to do it just yet, just get generic spray paint like this, black and white, and start off with that. <laughs> um, planets, you can just use coffee can lids like I'm using. You can use stove top lids and for texture, newspaper, paper, any kind of paper works just as well. Um, as you progress through the years, and I've only been doing this for two or three weeks now, so it's not the best, but I guess it still looks pretty neat. So, um, there are different spray paints that are based on this, but I'm just using Rust-Oleum. American accents, all that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started, I guess. So this is going to be our planet. And basically, you can just put this anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be one planet. It can be different sizes, different colors, different textures. And you're just going to put it down and do a slight outline. So that's about where our plant's going to be, this big circle here. So I guess a blue and greenish plant will do just nice. So start with your lighter color, I guess. If you're doing black and white, just do white on the bottom, black on top, and then a little bit more white. So here's our blue. Even that's good enough. I'm going to do a darker blue. And we're gonna do a little green in the middle. And now we're gonna cover the entire thing in our not the entire thing, but the majority in our lighter blue again. And don't be shy with your paint. You can be out of your comfort zone with this and that's how it shines up if I'm here. And here's our paper. Uh, this is just regular newspaper that comes in the mail. What you want to do is crinkle this up into a ball. Pull it back out. You can crinkle it more if you don't like the texture it comes out with. Place it down on your planet and lightly push it down onto the paper. Once pulled off, all the magic happens. 
Now, if you don't like it, you can dab around and clean it up a little more. So after this, we're going to put our planet back on. And the next step, which takes up a lot of black spray paint, is to paint the entire back black. It doesn't have to be heavy, just cover it with paper. You probably want to cut all this out so you don't have to sit through all this. Alright, so the next thing we got to do is stars, and all you got to do is grab some white spray paint and I do recommend gloves surgical gloves to be exact the ones that are stretchy and can never fit on your hand right no. all you gotta do is pretty much spray on that middle finger there and flick around have some fun go around with it all you want and do whatever doesn't have to be perfect, just enough. When doing it, don't click sideways because what will happen is it will streak across. Um, so now the big boom. This is the part that really takes the show away. Do you want it going out both sides or just the one side? Both is fine. Alright. Um, so we're going to start with our white streaking across. We're going to go pretty much light to dark, so we got yellow, orange, and red. We're going to start with yellow. We're go orange. And red. And what you want to do is just go back with your white and yellow, go back over. I shake the cans up real good. Um, rocks, I guess. Um, rocks aren't too hard, you just get a good wet spot on your corner. It's almost the same as your planet, instead of completely crumbling the paper, you're just gonna set your paper wherever and kind of push real hard with your thumb and kind of scrape along your newspaper. If that doesn't work, just scrape the newspaper with your finger. It usually comes out a little better like that. And you can take something sharp, one of your tools probably, and kind of outline your lines wherever you want to. And then the best part of the whole painting is the planet reveal. Nice. Was that kid amazing or what? Jeez, I can't believe how far he came in just a couple months since he started doing this stuff. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. You'll get an email notification anytime I upload a video. Remember, this is a growing channel also. Please check out some of my growing videos. 
They teach you how to do some stuff on the grill that maybe you didn't know. Little hints, tips, tricks, what have you. Always remember, crack one, pack one, 